Master the power of active and passive voice. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson on public speaking and presentations. Today, we're delving deep into sentence structure and clarity and focusing on a crucial aspect of English, active and passive voice. By the end of this video, you'll be well equipped to master these voices and bring more clarity to your presentations and everyday conversations. Let's begin by getting a grip on what these two terms mean. Active voice is when the subject of the sentence is doing the action, like, I wrote a letter. On the other hand, passive voice is when the action is done to the subject, like, a letter was written by me. Notice the difference? In active voice, the emphasis is on the doer, whereas in passive voice, the emphasis shifts to the action or the receiver. Active voice is often preferred as it sounds more direct and forceful. It is clear, concise, and to the point. Active voice is the go-to in most forms of writing and speaking, making it perfect for presentations and speeches. Let's look at an example. John delivers the presentation. Here, John is the subject, delivers is the verb, and the presentation is the object. The focus is on John, who is performing the action. While the active voice is often preferred, there are situations where passive voice is more effective. It's typically used when the doer is unknown, irrelevant, or obvious. It can also be used for diplomatic or polite expressions. For example, the presentation was delivered. In this case, we don't specify who delivered the presentation. The focus is on the action of the presentation being delivered. Understanding how to shift between active and passive voice can greatly enhance your communication skills. For instance, let's take the active sentence, the team completed the project. To make it passive, we shift the object, the project, to the subject position and use the appropriate form of the verb, be, followed by the past participle of the main verb, like so. The project was completed by the team. Practice shifting sentences between active and passive voice to improve your understanding and flexibility in using both. And there we have it. A solid foundation in understanding and using the active and passive voice. Remember, it's not about which is superior. It's about using each one effectively in your speech and writing based on the context. I hope this video was helpful and will aid you in crafting clearer, more compelling presentations and speeches. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next lesson.